Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing an Ipsy unboxing video. I haven't had an Ipsy bag in literally, I want to say two or three years. It's been a long time. And by the looks of this thing, uh, it's gotten a lot, lot heftier. Uh, they were nice enough to send me this and I looked on their website and it seems like now there are two options. One's like a $12 one and one's a $50 one. I'm assuming that this is the $50 one. but I'm really excited to open it. I try to not look at other people's videos because I love being surprised and seeing the products like firsthand by myself and being like actually surprised by it. So let's dive right in and see what we got. Oh my gosh, so cute. Starting off, I remember Ipsy Bags always had these little pouches with them and I love gold and black. Like if I was a color, I would be black and gold. Oh my gosh, yes, love that. It says, you're magic, how cute. And on the back, it has this little circle with like an evil eye with some makeup products. It almost reminds me of like a horoscope kind of thing. First product is a primer from Smashbox. It's the Oil and Shine Control Primer. The Photo Finish Primer, I've tried the Photo Finish Primer. I don't have dry skin, so, I mean, I don't have oily skin. So I don't use primers too often. Um, I pretty much just use my moisturizer and my sunscreen. And uh, lately I've been using an illum uh, illuminator from L'Oreal, but um, I guess I could give this to a friend who has some oily skin to try it out because I know Smashbox is obviously known for their primers. This is a heavy bad boy. Uh, hello, Sunday Riley. Hello, yes, we are here for this. Um, expensive product alert. Oh my gosh, a Sunday Riley high dose retinoid serum. The only, this is so exciting. The only product I've used from Sunday Riley is their uh, Good Jeans, which if you have not used that, like you are sleeping because that stuff gives you results in literally three seconds. So obviously I hold their brand to a high standard and I, I've i never used a retinoid cream, so I don't know exactly what it does. It looks like you use this overnight. You're supposed to apply one to two pumps in the evening. On the front of it, it says advanced strength retinoid serum delivers a 6.5% power blend of stabilized retinoids and retinoid-like botanical extracts into the skin. Oh, so excited to try this, try this tonight, but that is an amazing size sample. Next, we've got a Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I don't think I've ever used a mascara from Bobbi Brown. Let's see what the brush looks like. Okay, this looks like something I would use on my lower lashes. It kind of reminds me of a Clinique mascara that I've used before in the past. It, the, if it's similar to that Clinique one, I use it more on like a natural makeup type of day. I'm usually more of a rubbery mascara, rubbery wand mascara type of girl. Um, but I'm excited to try it out. I love a trial size mascara because I like just experimenting with different types of mascara. So excited to try this out. The last thing in the bag is this Briogeo Farewell Frizz. This is pretty much the one thing that I use when I come out of the shower. So um, I love this and I already know that I love this. So I'm excited to have a trial size of this. What it does, I use it as a heat protectant and I've been using it for years. My hairstylist said that my hair got longer and it seems like it's been doing great. So I don't really wanna change up my hair care routine. So I love sticking to this and I know I love this product already. Now getting into the other goodies, this is so exciting. I don't even know what I did to get this. My light battery just died, so if I look different, that's why. Getting into the goodies of the box, separate from the bag. Um, I don't even know what I did to deserve this, but I'm so excited right now. I just, what caught my eye when I opened this? This Huda Beauty palette. I'm so excited because I've always wanted one of these and I've just never gotten one. This is the Mauve Obsessions. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. First of all, what a great assortment of colors. I'm so excited. Uh, yes, this is perfect for fall. I mean, we all know what these colors look like. We've watched tons of videos, I'm sure, but I just have to play around with it right now and see how fabulous they are. I'm so excited to try this for fall. I think it's such a perfect palette. This one screams to me, screams to me, it speaks to me, it also screams to me. This one and this one, I'm just so excited to use this all fall. Okay, next up is from Ciate. And look how cute this packaging is. What's up with all the gold foil? I love it. 
Um, it's, it's from Ciate. It's a translucent powder. It's the extraordinary translucent powder. I really like Ciate as a brand. I, I have one of their pencil liners and I use it all the time. I actually used it today. This powder is so cute. Love the gold. And I mean, it's a translucent powder, but the packaging is absolutely adorable. Really excited to try that out. It also came with this little pouch. I'm assuming you put all the other stuff in there. Next up is this little box. Um, it's a really cute box. I've never heard of this brand. Felorga? Felorga Laboratories. Super smoothing radiance eye care. So it's an eye cream. We all love an eye cream. I actually don't use an eye cream currently, so I'm curious to try this out. They also included a little sleeping mask. Oh, black and gold again? Yes, love this theme. I also love that it's black because as much as I try to get my makeup off at night, there's always some sort of residual mascara, I'm sure. Next product is this Ipsy Your Magic. Damn, they're really going with the theme. Love it. Again, the black and gold. I'm a, yes, this is a candle. It's black. Love that. It smells like, this is very fall. It kind of smells like men's cologne a little bit, giving me like mahogany teak wood vibes from uh, Bath and Body Works. Those smell pretty similar. Love a black candle. Ooh, that is perfect for like table decoration for the fall. Next is this brush from Firma. I've never heard of them, but I'm excited to try it out. It seems like a really soft brush. And when I move it back and forth, none of the bristles are falling out. So that's always a good sign. I'd probably use this for some precise contouring or maybe even some highlight. All right, we've got two more products. Next one is this one from Illuminati. Ooh, never heard of them, but love that name. And it's an eyeshadow palette. This is giving me similar vibes to the Huda Beauty eyeshadow palette. Love those colors. Love, love, love. Well, I'm gonna put them side by side so you guys can see. Uh, I mean, okay, they're not similar at all, actually. <laughs> this is a little bit more summery or fallish, I would say, and this is a little bit more vampy vibes, but love the two shimmers. That's a chunkier glitter, the Huda ones. And ooh, we're running out of fingers here. Oh, that's pigmented. So there's some uh, variety in the textures in this palette. And the last product, I have eyeshadow all over my hand, but I'm excited to see what this is. I'm very curious. It says LaRousse. LaRousse, I've never heard of that brand, but again, love the gold foil. And it's an envelope, which I don't know what's in here. Hello, Brush Central. <gasps> These are amazing. Oh my gosh. I haven't even touched them, but I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me take it out of the, out of the packaging. I'm dying. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Look at these brushes, please tell me you can see that. They're like studded. Oh my gosh, so freaking cute. I love that. I love that so much. This one says it's a kabuki brush, a flat angle brush, a tapered face brush, and da -da -da -da, a contour blending brush. I'm so excited to try these out. I love them. Ugh, so my style. and. Loki, I probably need new brushes because I I do use the Cinema Secrets to like wash my brushes once I've probably done it like twice realistically. And I do makeup like every day. So I should probably be washing my brushes more, but like it's a little bit difficult. So having new ones is even better. All right, you guys, needless to say, I'm really impressed by all of these products. I'm so excited to really dig in and actually try them all out. Let me know if you guys have an Ipsy subscription and if your bag was different this month because I always love checking that stuff out. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.